Hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing extremely fine my name is prince and you are watching the tech stream in this video we are going to see the latest build of oxygen os 13 for the oneplus 8 series devices and oneplus 9r so without wasting any more time let's get started so oneplus has released a new build of oxygen os 13 after such a long time for the oneplus 8 series devices as you can see i've already installed it on my oneplus 8t and if i go into the about info section the build number is f.62 and the build number is same for all the devices that is oneplus 8 8t and 8 pro if i show you the android security patch it has been updated to 5th jan 2023 and if you want to install this build on your oneplus 8 series device and oneplus 9r first you need to download the full zip file and place it in the internal storage of your device next go to about info section tap the build number seven times and then click on the oneplus icon tap the three dots menu and select local install and finally select the file that we downloaded earlier this is going to install oxygenos 13 f.62 build on your oneplus device and if you are still having problems while installing this build i have already made a complete video on how to install oxygen 13 so feel free to check that video out now let's run some benchmarks on this build in the equation the device score 1182 in single core and 3273 in multi core note that these scores are without the high performance mode with high performance mode the device code 1190 in single core and 3291 in multi core the scores are almost equal with high performance mode on also in the cpu throttling test the cpu throttled up to 94 percent of its capacity and this has definitely decreased quite a bit from the previous build Apart from that, the benchmark scores have also improved comparing to previous builds. The build looks pretty much stable and I have not encountered any major bugs as such. Now let's move on to the change logs of this build. First up, let's talk about the latest Android security patch. The update integrates the January 23 Android security patch to enhance system security, which I have already shown you in the video earlier. Moving on to system performance, the stability and the overall performance seem good. However, I'll, I'll thoroughly test it in my full video to confirm. Next up, let's talk about the fixes in this update. One issue that has been fixed in the problem where time is not fully displayed on the lock screen in certain scenarios. Personally, I didn't face this issue, but it is good to know that it has been addressed. Now, let's talk about the network connectivity. The update also improves the stability of mobile network connections. I have noticed a positive change in mobile network stability, which is great news for those who rely heavily on mobile networks. And lastly, the stability of Bluetooth connections has also been improved, but I haven't noticed any notable difference for the previous builds. So, these were the changes that came up with this update, and overall, it's a good update that addresses some important issues and, and improves system stability. I'll be using this as my daily driver for a week and will let you know about the battery life and performance. That's all for this video. Hopefully you liked the video. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more tech videos. Thank you for watching.